how's everyone? Um, thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. What's happening at uh, Popsy's Koi? I've had a uh, quite a busy time of it lately, to be honest with you, with one thing or another. So I haven't been doing much uh, video, videoing, things like that. Um, I've had some fantastic mugs, which I'll show you guys directly. Um, oh, morning to the Coven Park boys. Hope you're all right. Um, yeah, busy day yesterday, really busy day. Uh, popped over to drop off a few little prezzies to my buddy uh, Josh from Brizzle Koi. Josh, cracking pond, mate. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, guys, yesterday I was really quite lucky because I, I went to three different people's ponds and all of them are high-end quality ponds. Josh didn't stay with you long, literally it was high by and go top thing, wasn't it? Um, because you're busy as well. But mate, brilliant pond. What you've done there, you know, your credit to yourself there, mate. Brilliant, well done you. Um so anybody who uh you know follows me, get over get over to uh see Joshy Boy at Brazil Koi. You won't be disappointed. Absolutely superb. Um and then we, I drove all the way to Welsh Wells to see Dame Shirley Bassey and Tom Jones and Mac Boyce, Max Boyce, aka Mike Chifster Coy. Again, Mike, I didn't, I shame, I didn't, do you know what, I didn't feel like videoing you, so I just lost the bug for it, really. Um, so I think I've got a very small, very small bit, but yeah, I think Mike's done a little video there. Again, cracking pond, the size of it. It's almost like a small swimming pool. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, filtration's brilliant. Uh, and Millie, oh, what a lovely little dog that is, Millie. I'll say little, bull terrier, they ain't little. Like a fucking wrecking ball there. Um, yeah, so me and Mike then went off to see Stuart at Oki Koi, which are uh, the videos will be followed for that, so I was scratching my leg again, so uh, the video was shaking a bit. Um, yeah, had a brilliant day. But anyway, I'll uh, drop you back here and see what's what and show you what's going on here. Right, I'll spin you now round again now. I said I was going to do something else, but I'll spin you round now because I've had, um, over the last couple of weeks, a few prezzies and uh, I'm over the moon and uh, I'll turn it spin you around, show you. Right guys, here we go. First mug I got was from my mate PD Pete from West Brom Street. Pete, many thanks mate. Pete is a good friend of mine. Yo card be a cup of tea. Can you Pete, eh? See those boys up in the uh, black country area, they think I'm saying it wrong, but no. No, you're saying it wrong. I'm saying it right. But many thanks to that, my answer. You are top, top by. And then moving on to the next one. Richie from Shrewsbury Koi. Now, Richie, I hope you don't mind me saying this, was a fairly new kid on the block. He's got a cracking channel. Absolutely superb content. Seems a lovely guy. Oops, sorry, I was looking at the fish and they're calling me eye. Um, yeah, quite funny. We uh, did message each other that we would exchange mugs and then out the blue, you have one come through the door, which threw you a little bit, Richie, didn't it? But uh, we got a mutual friend who passed on your, um, your details. So uh, there you go. Next one I've got. Come on, I spoil it's like Christmas, isn't it? Mad Dog, Glenwyn from Mad Dog's Pond. Now, this boy here is a high quality operator. Um, he doesn't say much, but when he says stuff, you listen to him really. He's a good boy. Um, I would love, I can't wait to come up to the, uh, to Wolverhampton to uh, see the boy in the flesh, press some flesh with the bike. And um, yeah, have a look at his setup because his setup is high quality. Um, yeah, 
you know, if, if you've got the room and you want to do something, what Mad Dog's got there, for what I see, is second to none. So, uh, Glen Wynn, many thanks, my answer. You're a legend. And over to my mate Stewie. Stewie from Bridge End area. Okie Koi. No. Look at this suit, look at that. Oh, look at that suit. Couldn't have told that any better, could you? Hey? Now, I picked up a few fish from, from Stewie yesterday, and uh, which you'll see in the uh, videos later on. Um, yeah, guys, top guy. Again, top blokes. I like this dude, like, couldn't, couldn't have told that any better. I'm not paying the fish either. Um, but yeah, top bloke. Um, cracking place um, like I say we've got, we're so lucky to have some you know some high quality ponds and setups in the uh, in the country uh, yeah I, I had a really good day yesterday spent it with quality time with quality people and uh, I'll show you a few fish hello boys guess who I've got here look <laughs> hey <laughs> got Billy Lee's got a little present. <laughs> We're here looking at Mike's pond. And I'll tell you what, it is one hell of a pond. It's, you know, the videos don't do it justice. It is absolutely superb. Oh, well, guys, yeah, quite blown away actually. Um, what a place. And some brilliant fish. Stuart, lovely guy, absolutely legend of a guy. I spoke, I've known Stuart off and on, talking to for about a year now. Fucking top bloke, absolute top bloke, genuine, genuine top bloke. So you don't bullshit, yeah, or anything like that. He tells it as it is. He genuinely cares about the fish, big time. Um, yeah, do yourself a favour. Get yourself down, yeah. Get yourself a fish, you will not regret it. You know, you've got the big, big boys that sell the fish in the big shops. These are just as good, I reckon, if not better. And uh, without probably the price tag. Um, yeah, you know, Mike from Just the Coy, he'll testify as well. He's, Mike's done several videos, I think, with Stuart, and Stuart's very helpful as well. So if you need ever need any. Um, help with um, you know your pond or anything like that yeah excuse your man yeah right um oh I've got to say I haven't been doing much videoing lately because I haven't really felt like it to be honest with you um, I wasn't going to do I was going to do some and I was like mm, yeah I can't be bothered and then uh, I've been to Mike's and uh, didn't do no video in there um, but we had a good old chat and whatnot. And, but as soon as I came here, I thought, oh, I've got to get the video going on. Just superb. Um, but yeah, Mike's, Mike, just a coy, his pond. Huh. Again, it just doesn't do it. You know, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't. And um, this morning, I was, God, getting a bit nippy now. Popped over to. Uh, See Josh from um, uh, Brizzle Koi. Nice to see you, Joshy boy. Fantastic pond. Again, you know, his, his pond is absolutely brilliant. You know, some of the guys that I've, you know, I've had the pleasure to meet and pop down to see. Um, some cracking ponds out there, guys. Keep it going. Superb. Um, yeah. Um, when I get home, I'll, uh, I'll do a bit more of an update. Um, I forget the guy now, but the guy who's won me cup, he's still haven't been in contact. Um, I forget your name at the moment, so um, yeah, I'll look at it, find out who it is, and I'll uh, talk about it later. All right, so okay, now take this, man, take this. All right, catch you later, guys. Well, like I say, guys, if you're out there, don't. Yeah, right, you heard it. You heard it. You heard it. Hey. Uh, here he, we he'll be, he'll hey, be hey. buying, he'll be buying a few from here. No, that way he is, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh God! You'll you definitely be having a lot more from here. <laughs> well, honestly, um, 
Wow. Get yourself to uh, Oki Koi. He's got some tremendous fish here. Do yourself a favour. If you want some good, uh, high quality fish, get in contact with Stuart. Absolutely amazing. So, oh, fish is gone. Where's they gone? Oh, God. Honestly, guys, what a place. What a place. So I'm just showing off Stuart's garden. It's just got a little bit of a water feature there as well. Something tranquil and peaceful about waterfall, isn't there? Oh, right, guys, look at these bad boys. I'm picking up a chagoy. I've got a couple of those. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Honestly, I can't begin. Look at that bad boy. Oh my god. Oh. It's sexual, ladies and gentlemen. It's totally sexual. We've got some fantastic kajakus in here. Very nice tancho. In there. So is that a tancho kajaku there? Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Look at these, look. The video, really, I just keep on saying that, the video does not do it justice. You know, if you really want high quality koi, then you do well in paying a visit to Shua at Oki Koi. Look at them, look. I've got a Maritan Goshki in here, which is coming. To see, well, look at see the um, Ochiba, Gimlin Ochiba. That's coming home with me. Stuart's been wintering it for me. And there's a Maritan Goshki in here, which is also coming home. The Stevie Boy. I'll find the bugger now. It might be the bashful one. It is absolutely mental. Here he is, look. That's the one. The Maritain Josh Gate. Coming on with Stevie Pops. Yeah, baby. Work it, baby, work it. Totally sexual. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but super, look at that now. So I need a kangaroo and goose. There's um, three that will be coming back to Popsy's Koi. There's Ginrin or Chiba. Uh, Ginrin. Goshki and also what was that Maritan? That's how you pronounce it. It's a Maritan Goshki. Look at that. Absolutely stunning fish. Some catwalk koi, as I call it. I say guys, this is from Stuart from Oki Koi near Bridge End in Wales. So you're on, are you on Facebook, aren't you? Yeah. You're on Facebook, also on eBay as well. That's where you get it. Guys, do yourself a favour. Get over Stuart.
this is like the Waltons, yeah guys. Look at that Jaguar. It's just, just so imposing, isn't it? And what's the breed of that one, Stu? Otsuka. Otsuka. They're just imposing, aren't they? They're just uh, absolutely superb. That is four absolutely tremendous fish. Right, guys, let me show you my wares. Look at Rosie, look. Tell you what, typical chag, isn't it? You turn up and she pops her head up. Well, I say she, it might be a he to be honest here. But, um, certainly a character. Not the most prettiest fish in the world, but oh my god. It makes me chuckle. Um, yes, as you'll see later on for me videos. I'll answer as good in line. Is my Maritan Josh Gate. As we all know, Popsy loves a Gorski. And I always wanted a, um, like a Tancho in the pond. Um, but I think that type of fish actually ticks a lot of boxes, really. Because even though it's not a, technically a Tancho, it's got that nice little red circle on its head. Um, so, it, like I say, it, it's all the boxes for me really. Let me go over to my chag, which I got from Stewie again. I think it comes 40 cm. Look at that. I'll tell you what, you know, you like I say, keep on going over one of the other videos when you see it bowed up. Oh my god, it's so imposing. It's gonna be a character, a real character that one. So I've got my Gimrin Ochiba, which you've seen earlier. Get it away from the bubbles. Sorry about that camera work guys, I should shut the air off really. But, um, and also I've got my Gimrin Goshki. The only other Goshki really I'm looking for now. I'd say would be a Deutz Koshki. Tell you what, what I might do actually in a minute is um, do some underwater footage. Yeah, fuck it, why not? I shall do that directly. Um, yeah, what else I've been doing? Well, I've been um, putting some plants out. Me irises are uh, starting to sprout nicely now. I'm doing all right. And uh, going over to my hostas, my variated hostas, I think it is. They're doing really well. I'm uh, well happy with them. I also put a bit of my drone business in on the shower there. You know, expecting it to die off a little bit initially because I've obviously I've took it, taken it from its natural environment and shoved it in there. But we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. And also I've got some um, ferns, which I'm gutted about because it's starting to die off a little bit. Um, yeah, I was hoping just a like non-soiled um, setup really. I'm sure some guys out there might be able to help me with how the best way to plant um, the ferns without killing them off. Yeah, so I'm a little bit gutted about that really. Hopefully they'll come back. There's enough root there. Um, just keep them watered. Um, so that's all good on that front really. Um, I'm currently doing a um, filter clean. 
Sorry. Dry grass, I got really to do it so cheaper there. Oh, I've got so big old spread that on. So I've got a big glare on it, but I've got a couple of fish on. I'm gonna have to move on, or I think, because uh, I don't want to be overcrowded really. Probably might have to get rid of that Shiro. Maybe one or two others. Sorry, guys, camera wrecked. Fucking shopping this morning. Um, so, yeah. Static beds. Stun it. Doing alright. And the moving beds. Moving. I might put a bit more air in there actually. Because I've got a little bit of my finger head spot over here. Covering that. It's moving quite well. Um, like I say, got me filter clean going on in here. Looking a bit shitty. The uh, pump back, which I let them make because it's one of his air pumps fucked up, so um, I lent, it, lent him that you know, spare one because I didn't really need it. So I shall be dumping the water in a minute. So, uh, yeah, so I'll uh, get back to you directly, guys. See you in a moment. Look at that, mate. I'm Dabby Dozy. I'll give a little bit more footage, guys. Give the fish a little treat. church bells in the background. I love it. You know, only about a stone's throw away from our local church. Don't go myself, but it's nice listening to it. Listening to them chime. You wouldn't think that those two there in particular it's been in the Pond for what 12 hours Boy, many thanks, Dewey. I'm just chasing him around. Yes, yeah, a Shiro. We'll be looking at moving on. Possibly that Bunny Kikikuru. Away, was it? Come back. Try and put the camera back so I can see more. Always hungry that thing. I got it from a guy called Sam. I think it's up Clevedon area. 
Um, I'll tell you what, I was saying, each you out of house and home. That's true, that one. There's the X, there's the X more beast. I was going to be putting on some size again this summer. So last summer I got him as a five inch from Neverton Coy down in near Newton Abbott in Devon. And now he's, well, it's got to be 32. Hello, Rubes. Rubes just come back from a from a walk. Where are you two? Right guys, well um, I think I'll call that a day or a wrap. Um, just starting raining now. Um, yeah, I hope you like the uh, content I've done. Is what it is at the end of the day. And, um, oh, I just found out something. Happy birthday, Pete. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Petey. Happy birthday, Pete. Hope you have a good one, bud. PD from West, Co West Brom Coy. Happy birthday. Guys, take care. See you soon. Thank you for watching Popsy's Coy.